Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to understand how to run the summary independent sample t-test in SPSS. For this, we'll be considering the, uh, this problem. So here we are having two salesmen, A and B. We are having their sales. That is a salesman A has done 20 sales. He's having an average weekly sales of 30. Standard deviation is 10. Salesman B. The number of sales is 22, average weekly sales is 25, and standard deviation is 7. We want to check, is there any significant deviation difference between the average sales of the two salesmen or not? Now, how we can do this? Because it is a summated data. So, in SPSS, you go in, compare means, and summary independent sample t-test. Now we talk about sample one. So in case of sample one, we are having 20 sales. Weekly is, uh, average weekly is 30 and standard deviation is 10. Let us feed the data. 20, 30, 10. Now let us talk about the salesman B, 22, 25 and 7. That is the number of sales are 22, average weekly sales is 25 and standard deviation is 7. Let us feed the data. So 22, 25, 7, click OK. And you got the result. I will copy this result in the word file for the interpretation. What is our research hypothesis in this case? Salesman 1 is better than Salesman 2 in terms of sales performance. Now, I will convert this research hypothesis into the statistical hypothesis. There is no significant difference in sales performance of two salesmen. Alternative, there is a significant difference in the sales performance of two salesmen. Let us see the p-value. When equal variances are assumed, it is 0 0.066 and if, if the equal variances are not assumed, 0 0.072. In both the scenario, your p-value is more than 0 0.05. Let us interpret. As the p-value of independent sample t-test is 0 0.066, which is more than 5% level of significance, so we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant difference in sales performance of two salesmen. You can see the mean of the first salesman is 30 and the mean of Second salesman is 25, but the difference is not so large so that we can conclude that one salesman is better than the other salesman. This is how we can work on summated data in SPSS for t-test. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos of SPSS.